Hey, good morning to you. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. I'm uploading this as an update of what's going with the impacts. I am showing that it is turning even more west, so the tracks and impacts are changing again. If you've never been here before, hello. My name is Mark. I do upload every single day. Just not Friday from sundown to Saturday from sundown. That's Sabbath. Uh, today's a little exception because of what's going on, and I always will make sure you are okay. But make sure you hit that subscribe button because I am all year around. And if y'all like this update, hit the like button, guys. Thank you so much. God bless all of you that are in the path of Henri. I do hope that you will be okay and make it okay before anything happens. The storm is weakening. And it, it shows now a tropical storm potential by Long Beach instead of a Cat 1 hurricane. So things are looking better. So thank God for that. I do pray that the storm weakens even more, Father. God bless you all. Remember, all the timestamps are in the description. I'm just going to show you what the different models are showing and the updated information from NOAA. If you've never been here before, make sure you stick for the special message I always put on the end of my videos, especially for Sabbath. Now, once again, this is the NAM 3K, and the NAM 3K and the high-resolution rapid refresh is so, showing the same thing. Right here, this is at 1 p.m. this afternoon. I did a little upscale so we can see what's going on in the future. And you can see how much it's taken more of a west turn. This is going to impact New Jersey way more, even parts of Pennsylvania with the rain bands as it comes in. Although it is showing that it is weakening according to NOAA. But I will show you what all the models show, and I will show you the impacts because all the impacts are different. Henri is still a tropical storm, still expected to be a hurricane soon. As a matter of fact, it is out of the shear and it's getting very light shear right now because it's away from all that draft. Now it's tucked into the east coast and it's going to start strengthening. And the question is, how much strengthening is it going to do before the cold water before it starts weakening and so far all, all the models are showing that it weakens down pretty great which is a good thing uh, right now it's at 70 miles per hour moving north northeast at 10 knots which is 12 miles per hour now because of this westward turn the rainfalls have changed and once again it's a dramatic turn to the west the one to three days rainfall is expected one to two inches of rainfall in this green dark green is two to four inches all this yellow include new jersey now is four to six inches and the big heavy spot you see for New York as well as Long Island is 6 to 10 inches expected. And the heaviness of this rainfall is pretty much going to be where this storm comes in, pivots, and leaves. So the pivot point is where the heaviest part will be. Flash flooding has gone up. All this yellow is your slight risk. And all this red is your moderate level. Heavy flash flooding expected. Now here's your timings. Through Sunday morning, it's your flash flooding. You have the marginal in the green and the slight risk in the yellow. For Monday morning, you have the marginal, the slight, and then you're going to have a moderate risk now because this is going to be pretty much the pivot point when it turns and goes out. Through Tuesday morning, there's a marginal for here and your slight risk for New York, Southern Vermont, and Western Massachusetts. Now, the updated track, they still have tropical storm warnings in this blue, a hurricane watch in this pink, and you're still in a hurricane warning for Long Island and Southern Connecticut, even pieces for Rhode Island. But it is predicted to be all in y'all area by 2 p.m. on Sunday. Still be a tropical storm by 12 hours later. And then as it goes into Monday, it'll be a tropical depression and leaving out by Tuesday. Storm surge has not, has not changed. The storm surge is 1 to 3 feet for the New Jersey coast, 2 to 4 feet for Long Island, 3 to 5 feet for Long Island Sound, all the way around to Nantucket Sound. And then Cape Cod is still 2 to 4 feet. The tropical storm forest winds are 100% in this purple. That's at least 40 miles per hour sustained winds. 90 in this dark red, 80 in this red, 70, 60, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10. Chances for tropical storm forest winds. The chance for 60 miles per hour winds has gone down. You have 70 in this orange for 60 miles per hour winds. 60 in this brown, 50, 40, 30, 20, and 10 in this green. And your chance for hurricane force winds are at 30% in this light green. That's at least 74 miles per hour sustained. 20 and 10% in this dark green. Now the updated run has it to where it's going to be right at a Cat 1 hurricane. But in 24 to 36 hours, it's going to be start going on its downgrade because of the cold water. So, so far, it maybe is going to be a strong tropical storm. That's what most of the models are starting to hint. That's why Noah's going with tropical storm. If it is going to be a hurricane, it will downgrade quickly, not only from landfall, but the water is very cool, especially the edge of the coast. Now here's a look at Henri this morning. It is just now getting to the coast. You have your trough coming down, and this trough is going to help pull this northward. And it's about to make its northward push. It's about to start intensifying, but it will be weakening from the cooler waters. It all depends on how much intensification it gets. 
Uh, the euro is still showing that it will get some shear from this trough, and that's what helps keep it weak, and then the cooler waters kind of finishes the job. But the updated track does show that most of the models show that it will make that western turn, so a lot of people say they don't like the NAND 3K, but the NAND 3K is the only one that picked up that western turn from that weak up level low, so that was true. And in 48 hours, it is expected to be right here all over New York. Now, let's take a look at the models and see what the impact difference is. This is the GFS. It gets it down to a 979. Started getting a big wind field coming in around 8 o'clock in the morning for tomorrow. It's down to a 982, still a hurricane. 986, still a hurricane by GFS. NOAA has it a tropical storm. I think it would be a low-end hurricane. By 11 a.m. Sunday, you still get enough effects. Then it goes in by 2 p.m., by 5 p.m., then by 8 p.m. it weakens down to a tropical storm on Sunday. So until then, it's showing a hurricane, and it's showing a northward push. But with that information, as we go and see what the GHFS says, everybody's going to start getting into 30 miles per hour, maybe 40 miles per hour wind gusts now, getting up to 50 on East Long Island. This is at 8 a.m. on Sunday. As you go into 11 a.m., then the, the 60 miles per hour wind gust is going to be in the southeast Connecticut, as well as southern Rhode Island and eastern Long Island still. GFS shows that it will continue to go north by 2 p.m. on Sunday. It's going to start going into Rhode Island and eastern Massachusetts to most as it goes north and weakens to a tropical storm. That changes everything. The, the rainfall amounts, according to the GFS, shows that it will be a heavy strip of 4 inches along this yellow right here. But it shows Hartford, Connecticut, 2 inches. Norwich, 3 inches. Springfield, Massachusetts. Worcester. Massachusetts over two inches and that's about it it shows Manchester a half an inch before it showed one to two inches but it pretty much the rainfall cuts off southern New Hampshire southern Vermont according to the GFS the euro brings it at 8 a.m. on Sunday still a hurricane but then as you go to 2 p.m. sometime from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. it's a 992 still could be a very weak hurricane or a strong tropical storm at that point probably still a hurricane very weak all west side loaded with the storms. Then as you go into 8 p.m., it takes that western push. Then as you go to 2 a.m. on Monday, it's still here, dropping all the heavy rainfall. This is where it's going to do its pivot. And as you go to 8 a.m. on Monday, it starts moving to the north, northeast. So going with the Euro, you can see as you go into 8 a.m., everybody's getting a 30 miles per hour wind gust. And then as you go to 2 p.m., then it starts getting up to 50 miles per hour wind gust for eastern Long Island, southern Rhode Island, southeastern Connecticut and as you go to 8 p.m. then all the heavy 50 to 60 miles per hour wind gusts up to 70 will be all in the New England states and then as you go to 2 a.m. on Monday it's bringing all the high winds with it 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts plus and by 8 a.m. on Monday then it's gonna start calming down it's gonna be dropping a lot of rainfall still it's still gonna be a lot of flooding but your winds will be at best 40 miles per hour it's gonna be pretty weak and as you go into 2 p.m. on Monday, then it's 30 miles per hour wind gust as it leaves out the north. Bridgeport would get over almost 6 inches. New York City over 2 inches. Brentwood, Long Island over 2 inches. Waterbury almost 2. And after that, it's pretty light. Everybody about an inch. Now, as we look at the NAM 3K, it brings the storm a little bit further to the west. Now it's affecting more of New Jersey. It's affecting more of Pennsylvania. And it's going to be more rainfall, different totals, guys. So by 11 a.m., it brings a 976 over Long Island. As you go into noon, it's still a hurricane. Still a hurricane by 1 p.m. Still a hurricane by 2 p.m. Hurricane by 3 p.m. And it's all west side loaded, so it be more rainfall amounts over here, according to the NAM and the high-resolution rapid refresh. By Sunday, 4 p.m., you still have a hurricane. Still a hurricane by 6, but then it's going to start weakening down by 7 p.m. tomorrow night, becoming a tropical storm, dropping heavy rainfall, still that westward push. So by 2 a.m. on tomorrow morning, you will start getting the 40 miles per hour wind gusts on New Jersey that wasn't really in the mix. As it gets closer to shore, it starts staying 40, then it starts going up to 50. Even Long Island is getting 50 now, and this is by 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. And as you go through your morning, you can see which way it goes. High 60 miles per hour wind gusts, high 70s in the bay. You're still getting 40s, almost 50s for Connecticut. New York's getting 50s. Everybody's getting high 40s to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. Long Island is definitely going to get the blunt end of this storm. 60 miles per hour wind gusts still by 1 p.m., 2 p.m. By 3 p.m., it goes down to 40s. By 6 p.m., it's almost in the 30s. 
and by 8 p.m. it's finally in the 30s all the way to 11 o'clock tomorrow night. So this will be a slow path of high winds and a lot of rainfall as this comes in. And it does head out to north and everybody is still in the 30s by 4 a.m. on Monday. But it changes the rainfall amounts dramatically. Toms River, New Jersey, almost two inches long branch, two inches Bridgewater over three, New York, Yonkers, Middletown over three. Brentwood's only going to get over a little bit over an inch because it's west side loaded and it shows a sooner turn. So you're not going to get all the heavier rainfall. And as it goes towards New York, it starts to get heavier. Have an isolated area for up to six to eight inches is possible for New York. Waterbury over two inches as it heads north. And a high resolution rapid refresh. It also shows that by 3 a.m. tomorrow morning, you're going to start getting the storms coming in. It is affecting New Jersey as well, and it's showing a 995. So it will be on the very weekend of a barely a hurricane to going over to a tropical storm just like NOAA is showing. But at the same time, it's showing that westward push, and the bands are reaching way out, guys. This thing's really stretching out, and it really will be affecting people with some storms. By 9 p.m. on Sunday, it's going to be very weak and be dropping rainfall, but that's all you can see with the high-resolution rapid refresh. But all of them show it will be hovering over New York, dropping rainfall. So according to high-resolution rapid refresh, by 2 o'clock in the morning, New Jersey, you will start getting 30 miles per hour wind gusts as well as Long Island. And as you go through, you see it starts going up to 40s, but it stays around 30s to 40s the whole time. Even for Long Island, the highest so far is 40s to maybe 50s. And this is all the way till 10 a.m. And the worst is 60 miles per hour in the bay. But it does head north and then goes to the west. And a high resolution rapid refresh does show that it does weaken down pretty quickly. By 3 p.m., most of the high winds is going to be for New York. 50 to 60 miles per hour wind gusts. And it's going to stay there for a while and twirl around these winds as it heads to the northwest and weakens down greatly. Early Monday morning is going to be in the 30s, maybe to 20 miles per hour wind gusts as it goes out. But once again, this changes the rainfall dramatically. You even got Dover getting over an inch, Wilmington over an inch, Philadelphia over two inches. And then up here for New Jersey, you got Tom's River over four inches, Trenton over two, Long Branch over three, Bridgewater almost two, New York City almost three inches, Middletown over two inches, Bridgeport an inch, Waterbury an inch. The heaviest definitely seems to be all the way from Maryland, Delaware, up New Jersey, and Pennsylvania because of the long rain bands as this thing spreads out. So I have it on a NAND 3K so you can see what's happening according to the impacts of the NAND 3K. And this is starting exactly at 1 p.m. this afternoon. So when you see it first start right here, this is where your storm is expected to be and then making its track on up the coast. But you can see how the bands do hit New Jersey, do it does hit Pennsylvania, and it does go into New York. So it is west side Lotus. You are going to be getting a lot of the weather. I do hope you all love the update. It won't be an update this afternoon, of course, because it looks like the impacts are not going to be changing much. I think you all are pretty well informed. And it's just at the most, even though it's going to be a flooding risk with tropical storm, it won't be a major hurricane or anything affecting you all. God bless all of you. Keep you all safe. And happy Sabbath to all of you that are on your Sabbath today. I pray for the best day for you. Very peaceful very close day with God. God bless you. Today I want to read Psalm 101. I will sing of mercy and judgment until thee, O Lord, will I sing. I will behave myself wisely in a perfect way. O when wilt thou come unto me? I will walk within my house with a perfect heart. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside. It shall not cleave to me. A froward heart shall depart from me. I will not know a wicked person. Whoso privately slandereth his neighbor, him will I cut off. Him that hath an high look and a proud heart will not I suffer. Mine eyes shall be upon the faithful of the land, that they may dwell with me. He that walketh in a perfect way, he shall serve me. He that worketh deceit shall not dwell within my house. He that telleth lies shall not tarry in my sight. I will early destroy all the wicked of the land, that I may cut off all wicked doers from the city of the Lord. Amen. 
God bless you all today. Have a very blessed day today. Thank you so much for visiting my channel today. It's kind of a rare upload. I usually don't do them on Sabbath, but of course, if needed. For those that have never been here before, when I go to Sabbath, I always add a little extra to the video, give you a little help. And for those that haven't talked to the Lord, maybe it gives you a little strength, a little encouragement to talk to our Father. He loves you. Hope you all have a very blessed day. Thank you again. All glory does go to Yahweh, God of Jacob. Amen. <laughs> Happy Saturday, guys. Have a very blessed day. God bless all of you in these impacts.